it was about 200 acres when they purchased it. Kind of about 5,000 acres now. It's growing and growing. So we have this yard and then a second yard down two minute walk. They have their own space, you know, and a lot of air can get in. They're very clean boxes. And they probably, they've earned it now, you know, they, they start to go out now to their paddocks this time of year. Because over the winter, the ground is too soft for them and destroy the paddock. So in the spring now, they'll go out after the cover. They'll cover in the morning, 7 a.m. and then they'll go straight out. Seemingly covering one mare is the same physical quality as running seven furlongs. They're working, working athletes, so they need to be physically fit and they have a good diet. They're weighed every week, their weight's maintained, and uh, Darren's the stallion manager, like adjusts their diets and their exercise based on based on their condition. So, so, so Mark Specific, lads, he's his third year now here with us. His eldest horses are yearlings this year, so he's a big year from now this year at the sale. A great looking horse, like he was a 1.3 million guineas yearling bred by Robert Scarborough um, and then he went into training with Aidan he was a European champion two-year-old he won the Gehurst Stakes Cartier winning two-year-old trained on to win two, class, two French classics at three he was a world champion three-year-old unbeaten won the Eclipse Stakes as a three-year-old which a good stallions as three-year-olds you see the stars and Giants Causeway Sadler's Wells Paddington you know, they all wanted us three-year-olds, so it's a, it's a tough thing to do against the older horses. And then came to Leopardstown, and I'm sure he, he beat Tarnawa and Poddy Flair in, in a great race that day. So, look, he's been very well received. He's covered two, two crops in Ireland, two good crops, quality crops, good internal support from, from Kilmore, and some very good clients have supported us as well. So. He had the most expensive foal last year sale in Europe out of a... Out of a out of an Oaks winner, so it kind of shows the support that he had. Very good looking horse, great pedigree. Obviously a ha half brother to a classic winner in Magna Grecia. So he kind of has it all for him. Good pedigree, good looking, unbelievable racehorse, so, and, and has got good support. So look, the, the, the early signs are that he's going to be, a, we have good faith in him, that he's going to be a top stallion. He had 26 or 27 two-year-old winners and yeah, yeah. you know he had 11 stakes horses he had the most black type performers out of any other stallion first season stallion so it's a big year for him now very good um, horse in england was second in a listed race last week so seems to be a, a good year for him the early signs are that they'll train on he was a good three-year-old himself yeah, yeah. wooden bassett lads he's Kind of a rags the riches story. He was a champion two-year-old in France, trained by Richard Fahey. He won the Lagidar as a two-year-old, and like between one thing and another, and an injury, he didn't train on as a three-year-old. Um, retired then as a four-year-old to Harris Theatrium, and re retired for six thousand, and only covered twenty-five mares in his first year. Like in his first five years of stud, he only stood between four and six thousand. So within his first crop, he had best horse in the world in Almanzor, in Almanzor that year won the Irish Champion Stakes and from then on he's had you know success after success from those small crops he's this will be his first crop of Irish Irish bred horses this year so they were bred of underground fee he stands now for 200,000 so he's the most expensive stallion here on our roster and in Ireland very very exciting I think like Aidan's a huge success with them already River Tiber won the Coventry and unquestionable and they were only off a of 40,000 fee. So this year is his first, his first crop of those Irish bred kind of blue bloods. I was only looking the other day at the, at the two year olds he has and it's kind of frightening some of the mares that he's out of the best Galileo mares. And it's a hugely exciting for him. He shuttled to Australia. He topped the Australian yearling sales this year. His first yearlings sold up to 2.1 million, 1.9 million. It's kind of like he, he, he's a beautiful looking horse. This is Paddington. So he's another, another son of Sayuni, or is our third son of Sayuni. We stand a hugely exciting stallion for us. Bit of a Monju mare, he was very, very tough. St like, started off his campaign early, ran in the Madrid, which is, you know, this Sunday. So it's, he started off early and he ran right through to Champions Weekend um, in England. So, like, a really tough horse. He actually won three, he, he won those group ones within 61 days of each other. So it's like really, really tough horse, good miler. Stayed as well, run in the Eclipse, won the Eclipse, as I was saying earlier, like Sadler's, 
like Giants Causeway, see the stars as a three year old to win the eclipse. But he, he retires now, he's 55,000 in his first season, so he gets some good internal support as well as, as good external clients are supporting him. So it's, um, as I say, very exciting, really tough racehorse. Like he has all, and very good looking, he has all the credentials to be a top stallion. He's bred by Monso, he was, couldn't more purchased him, sorry, from Monso. He was 420,000 yearling in Arcana. Team one, good size. And for being such a tough resource, he's a real genuine horse as well. Yeah. So Little Big Bear, obviously his first season horse, very exciting, very good looking horse. Son of No Nine Ever, he's a European champion two year old on the Phoenix Stakes, like by six lengths, seven lengths. He's actually the seventh generation of a sire line to win a group one as a two-year-old. So from him to No Nine Ever, his father, right back to Star Stormbird, they all won <laughs> group ones as a two-year-old. Trained on a three, ran in the guineas and, and then dropped back in trip and won the Sandy Lane Stakes. Beat Brad Sell that day, he was the subsequent group one winner. They went on to the Commonwealth Cup and he was an unlucky second to Shaquille. And then unlucky to him, he, he picked up an injury and was subsequently retired. But like he's such a good two-year-old, trained on a three, good pedigree and very good looking. So he's earned a spot. We're very hugely excited about him. He's a good stallion now, Camelot himself. A big year for him this year. He's seven two-year-olds in Ballydale this year. This will be his strongest crop yeah. this year off the back of he had Sir Dragon Knight that won the Cox Plate and Derby winner. So this will be his two-year-olds this year now will be his, his best bred crop.